Hello there and be welcome to this uh, lightning session about the headless world, content management systems, Jamstack and all that I coupled out there in the web. So my name is Samuel Snopko and I'm the head of the developer relations at Storyblock, which is one of the headless CMSs out there, of course, and also the proud sponsor of the React Advance. And I'm very happy that you find time to watch this video and uh, invest this five, six minutes to find out more about the future of the content management system. So what is all the headless uh, hype about? It's about building your own custom backend without needing to really like code a lot so you can like build the atomic system as you want uh, set up different components on last stuff but on the other side you can use the framework of your choice so if i would jump here to getting started you could see like you can like go through all of that stuff i, mean, I don't have by the way slides i just show you the website where you can find it then of course you will set up and uh, you create the components according to atomic design and all your uh, approaches that you would like to as similar as you do in your favorite framework and then you can use that with the framework of your choice so here for example in these samples we have different uh samples for next.js next gatsby react of course remix and all that stuff is already supported so all the major react frameworks out there and you can simply use the same setup at the backend with the multiple frameworks in the future in, in the front end and choose your favorite one and that's all the headless uh, about of course additional to that the nice backend uh give you like all the workflows uh um workflows translations approval system uh versioning uh and more stuff that you need uh, for your content teams and uh, your for your marketers that they can easily work with all of that find out at storyblock.com but what is exactly all about so if you go and sign up and you will log in you will get to the storyblock app where you will choose your favorite uh where you can choose your favorite spaces. You can like put them, you can like manage them, but you can also easily create here a new demo like React Advanced. I created right now. And in this demo, then you can like play with all that stuff. So what is possible with this? So why and how and why should you do that? So, and I say you, you will get a visual editor with all the cool stuff of real time visual editing in react so basically as soon as you will uh, do the type then you will see the change so yes this is all the parts this is the blog library where you can define all the components and then we have of course the content where you have a folder based system in which you will create different stuff here we can see right now of course at the sample project and in the sample project you have like different folders you can like tag stuff you have an asset library with image service uh, which you can like change this prof uh, type of images you can also like uh, have an image editor where you can like uh, photoshop your images already directly in system so you don't need to have extra tool you have of course getting started here you have a dashboard which you have see overview of all uh, what's happening in your system where you see like your last edits the task pending to you and other stuff of course you have a settings where you will set up different uh, tokens how to get it co to to uh, content from draft for draft or for a public website and you can have a multiple environment you can have a multiple prior links if you are doing like a redesigning all of that possible directly in storyblock but what is the visual content about so here if i like enter my home page which is in this case representing the index page and just like we named named it the home and you will see that here i already see preview of my website and it's not just random um preview this is my real website that is connected and is running in this case uh and and one of the platforms like versal netlify aws for your own server and you can add here multiple url links that you can switch between and you can like build the urls here on the right hand side you see the components that you define not us you will define what exactly means here all right so here in this case if I go and click it on here, right, I see here that it's like, uh, I, I have here multiple tabs and there is like, of course, the fields like headline, sub and line buttons. You can define, set the rules between them and all that stuff. You can also like extend and build your own custom plugins for it, for it using the React or the view fully up to you. But what I was talking about that visual editing part. So here you see that if I click and I go here and change the demo headline to, uh, react advanced uh, then you will see that in the real time i see the preview 
I'm sorry that my computer is getting a little bit slow because of the OBS. But right now you can do and do just more, more previews. You can scroll down. You can then click also on different part of the uh, website where, for example, I see here that this is the banner and here it's directly opening the banner by clicking three dots. I can move the components around and even I have the possibility of changing the styles like base for, for example, here I can go and change the text color to dark and in, in seconds you feel to see that all the settings here. That's not we are responsible, but you are able, you as developers have the power to configure all of this, uh, set all these uh, crazy setups uh, and do the changes very quickly. For example, here I did a little bit blur uh, and you are also dark and then uh, go and change the style uh, to let's say light again and you will get this as a JSON. So here, if I would like go to the my publish content, I can see how I, what kind of JSON draft or publish I will get from my API. And then using the NPM libraries, the bridges, how we call them, the JavaScript bridges, you will get them out of uh, the content. So you will get the content in the structure JSON like this. And according to that, you build exactly the component in your final product. So how to do that? And I don't have a time in seven minutes to do. So that's why you should go to definitely the Storyblock technology uh, uh, hubs uh, that we built. And here uh, we have a technology for the React where you already can find the uh, the the tutorials for Next.js, React, Gatsby, also Remix, just go and search the website. We even built suddenly, uh, suddenly, lately, uh, the Next.js Ultimate Tutorial where we are build, build already five uh, five steps article or first per five part about how to build everything from scratch to international website. All of that using the story block and your favorite framework, Next.js or Direct. And all of that, it's fully up to you. Just go to storyblock.com, find out more, uh, follow us on the Twitter or follow uh, one of our cool devrels like Facundo Giuliani or or, or others who are like specializing on the React and you will find even more. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon somewhere in person. Uh, that's all from my side. Bye.